What's up guys, this is Gabe, also known as Darth Vapor on the forums, and today I'm bringing you another Maximum Vapors box mod review. This time it's going to be the Fun Box. You can pick it up for $90 on the website. You can also look out for the sales that he's always having, anywhere from 15 to, I've seen 40% off. I picked it up Memorial Day sale, and it was 35% off. I got it for like $64, something like that, $65. So, pretty nice savings. Um, it has all the same features as the Max Fun Box. It's got the drip ring, it's got the horn switch, the dial, variable voltage. It takes two 14500 batteries. I use AWIMRs. It's got the Evercool regulator. But what it doesn't have is the juice bladder. So on this one right here, you see the juice bladder. But I would take the size of this one just because this one really wasn't that fit in your pocket very well um, this one is definitely something more my style because I like taking my mods out with me and this one's awesome so it has everything but the juice bladder um, drip ring on here uh, works well I've noticed a big difference between this and my other mods I know like on my silver bullet the juice will run out and go which it, whichever direction it really wants the juice wants to run down sometimes it goes in the switch sometimes it you know, just runs down one side. And what I noticed with this one is it's built right towards the outside, facing away from where the back comes off. It's closer to the this back side, and it'll just kind of run off if you have an atomizer that leaks, you know, a lot. Um, this one is a dark gray, faded into like a silver, back into the dark gray. It's actually one of my favorite box mods, and that goes for pretty much any box mod I've ever seen. A lot of people have gave compliments on it since I've got it. Uh, it's just cool. It's got a real sturdy uh, plastic. It's not made like this. The box that I'm doing the giveaway for right now, it's more of a, a real sturdy box. I felt like if I, if I feel like I, I were to drop it or something like that, let's hope I don't that it would hold up real nice. So I'll go ahead and turn it down to the lowest setting, which is 3.14. And I did a video on this recently, and the dial on here, the voltage dial, was really stuck, and I feel like I needed to remake one and give this box more credit, because I do like the box, and it was an easy fix on my side. I just had to push the regulator in a little bit. So it really wasn't that big of a deal, so I figured I'd make a new one. Um, I'll go ahead and start off at about 3.53. And if you don't like this color, uh, some of the ones in the option box are like a red or a blue. And you can get different color horn switch, uh, dial to change the voltage. And I think that's pretty much it. So you have you know, some different options. We'll go ahead and start off right here. All right, so if you saw it was at 3.53, when I just vaped it was at 3.51. It is a 0.2 difference, which isn't huge. I'm not sure exactly why it drops. Maybe there's some type of small, um, like protection circuit on it. I'm not sure exactly why. I'll have to ask Todd and put it in the comments box, but it's really point two, not a big deal to me. Go ahead and turn it up a little bit. So there we are, 4.04. I'll go ahead and do one more setting. <coughs> All right, four point five 
on a 1.5306 atomizer. Kick my butt a little bit. So there it is, Max, or not the Max, it's the regular fun box. 90 bucks. Check them out. Todd's going to be shutting down the site for about a month and basically stocking everything. So when he opens back up here in about a month, he'll have everything stocked up and the wait will be a lot less shorter. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I would definitely recommend this box for any of you mod fanatics, box mod fanatics, collectors, whatever. It's awesome. Pick a cool color, scheme, do what you like. Uh, 90 bucks. Wait for a, a sale to come up if you need to and pick it up. So thanks for watching this video.